This morning, we are learning the identities of the six people who were killed when a manager opened fire at a Virginia Walmart. You can see their names and faces on your screen right now. Six others were also hurt in that shooting. We've got a live look at the store in Chesapeake, Virginia, as some chilling new details are emerging about the gunman. Joe Khalil is live with the latest details on the shooter and the harrowing accounts of what took place that night. Good morning, Joe. Hey, good morning, Mitch. And we're starting to hear more uh, about those accounts and about the victims themselves now that uh, most of them uh, have been identified. But look, it's not just the families of these victims that are going through this. It's also the entire Chesapeake community that is now reeling and, and really coming to terms with the tragedy that happened right in their backyard. For six Virginia families, Thanksgiving won't be a day to celebrate this year as they mourn the deaths of their loved ones killed in a shooting inside this Walmart Tuesday night. Their Chesapeake community grieving alongside them. I came out here because I, I hope uh, when the families are able to, to, to come out, they will see that there's love um, from all of us. The victims killed identified as Lorenzo Gamble, Brian Pendleton, Kelly Pyle, Randall Blevins, and Tanika Johnson. The name of another, just 16 years old, not being released because he's a minor. All of them killed when police say the suspect, 31-year-old Andre Bing, opened fire on his fellow Walmart employees just after 10 p.m. Tuesday night before taking his own life. No marked cars. Everything I saw was private vehicles, you know. And then I saw the big, I thought the SWAT thing went up in the driveway. Bing's neighbors were woken up as SWAT teams came into his home. Authorities tell our News Nation affiliate station Wavy no additional weapons or signs of a motive were found. But one law enforcement source confirmed a list of names was recovered near Bing's body. At least six other victims were shot and taken to a local hospital, recovering today. It just, he literally was clocked in 10 minutes. You know, you just never know. Some, like Deborah Hazlett, whose brother Michael was shot, thankful today he made it out alive. That's kind of um, comforting to know that I mean, he's able to text and able to talk a little bit. And our News Nation affiliate station, they're also reporting that law enforcement says uh, that there was some sort of message on this suspect's phone talking about workplace grievances that may give law enforcement some clarity into uh, that suspect's motive. But, you know, today we want to focus on. Uh, these victims, their families, and your heart really goes out to not just them, but the entire community now dealing with this horrible tragedy on Thanksgiving. Mitch. Yeah, Joe, as awful as it is, I think it will make folks even more thankful on a day to give thanks. Uh, and thank you for that report. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.